I'm scared. Ow! <laughs> it burns! How do people do this for a living? Bro, it's still smoking. I don't want to do this anymore. Hey guys, welcome to my natural academy. In today's video, we're gonna be flat ironing my hair. So I have this blow dryer that I bought from the store called Target, and this flat iron that I bought a couple days ago from Walmart because I failed terribly, miserably at trying to flat iron my hair without heat. There were a lot of people in the comment section asking me if I was gonna flat iron my hair with heat or not, and I was like, no, I would never put heat in my hair. Child, let me tell you guys how I tried to flat iron my hair with, well not necessarily flat iron my hair, but I tried to straighten my hair. I personally think there's a difference between flat iron and straightening. You can straighten your hair without heat or with heat. Flat iron, you use a flat iron. So I tried to straighten my hair without heat using like the big jumbo rollers and it went so bad. It went so terrible. If you guys care to see the clips, I could, maybe I'll just put them right here so you guys can see how bad it was, but it was not cute, okay? So I went on the handy dandy internet and I ordered this flat iron that I have no idea how to use. I have never used a flat iron before. I've never flattened my hair. I don't even have heat protection. Oh well. After I did the jumbo roller set, uh, what was it called? They were magnetic roller sets. After I did that and it came out terrible, I ended up just blowing out my hair. Like this was, this happened like a week and a half ago. I don't even remember. But I ended up just blowing out my hair to make my hair dry because my hair was super duper wet after doing the jumbo set rollers. And um, the main reason why it didn't work out is because I just couldn't find a way to sleep. Let me just work as I speak. These are just some elastics I'm just going to be tying my hair with. I don't know how long it usually takes people to flat iron their hair, but I'm not trying to be here all day. If it doesn't work out, then I really don't care. But what was I saying? I don't even remember. Maybe I should try to look cute. No, this is the best it's gonna look. But what was I saying? I feel like whenever I fail in my videos, I should just upload them because I feel like you guys are not gonna believe me. But I do record and I just don't upload them because they turn out bad. Like what's the point of uploading a video that's terrible? I don't know. But anyways, the main reason why I didn't go through with the magnetic rollers is because I was trying to sleep, okay? I put the rolls in my head around 8 o'clock at night. I was searching up on the internet how long it was going to take my hair to dry, and it said it was going to take about 10 to 12 hours, and I was trying to sleep that night, and I could not. I was in bed for like an hour, tossing and turning, and I was like, you know what? This ain't it. I really don't care to straighten my hair at this point. I don't care to, because I could not sleep. Can you imagine not being able to sleep? Anyways, so yeah, that's why that video didn't work out. I said in the video somewhere that if um, if I had to stay up all night so that my hair would dry out and be straight, then I would, but I lied because I, I was not gonna stay up all night for the sake of some rollers and to straighten my hair. It was just not worth it for me. So I just took them all out and braided my hair and I went to sleep. So yeah, that's what happened with the roller set. And here I am today doing this flat ironing video Hopefully it works out. I don't really care to get my hair to look bone straight. Honestly, I pictured myself with straight hair before and I feel like I'd probably look like a little mole rat if I did ever straighten my hair to the point where it was bone straight. So um, if you're expecting bone straight hair out of this video, eh, I really apologize because that's not what we're going to be getting from this. But my hair, it, I, okay. it this is the best that we're gonna get. I'm gonna try to flat iron it to get, I mean, I'm gonna try to blow it out to get a little bit more straight, but this is what a week old blowout braid finger detangle looks for me. I hope that makes sense. My hair is pretty much finger detangled. I just finger detangled my hair just now, that way it wouldn't take me a long time while I was recording this video. I'm just gonna be working in small little sections. Uh, I don't even wanna look at these things because this is what I used on my hair when I was doing the, um, magnetic rolls and these things traumatized me because they were poking my head so much like i don't know i got these from focus i got these from the beauty supply store it was like 36 for 3.99 and i was like that is a good price okay i bought two of them so i don't know how much that is in math i don't know if i mentioned it a couple seconds ago but i don't have heat protectant I just realized like an hour or two ago that I needed heat protectant to flat iron my hair. 
And I don't have a car and I'm not trying to walk to Publix or Walmart to go get it because that's just gonna take entirely too long. So my alternative for that is this Palmer's olive oil grease, which I always use on my hair, which is pretty much all over my head at this point. It says somewhere on here that this can be used as an alternative for heat protectant. I know I read it on here somewhere. All right guys, so it says right here in this tiny little paragraph that it can be used as uh, like a heat protectant kind of, or before you style your hair with heat. But anyways, I read this like a couple years ago and I was like, oh, that's cute. I'm never gonna use it, but here I am today using heat on my hair. My hair feels a little dry though, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know, but I feel like my hair is so caked with grease. I don't know if you guys can see the sheen on my hands. My hair is so caked with grease, I'm afraid that it's gonna burn. I don't know if you guys ever see like when people fly in their hair and it's just like smoke starts smoking everywhere. So, I'm not trying to go bald head. All right, let's see. I'm gonna take a nice little small section. Oh gosh, that should not have hurt as much as it did. plug in this flat iron oh I didn't show you guys an up close but this is how the flat iron looks like it looks pretty generic and pretty uh, you know standard I haven't even opened it yet because I just got this in the mail yesterday and it's from this brand called whatever this says so yeah am I scared a little bit yes do I feel like I'm gonna get heat damage from doing this no because I'm probably most likely gonna only be flat ironing my hair on probably the lowest heat possible. I don't even know what to expect out of this. I really don't. If it comes out nice, then it comes out nice. Am I supposed to, does, uh, child, I don't know. I'm gonna let this heat a little bit. It only goes down to 280. It can't go any less than that. I was planning on flat ironing my hair at 200, but I guess we have to do it at 280. I'm so scared. Let me blow this section out real quick. Gosh, I am so scared. I am scared. Ooh, it's starting to smell. This thing got hot way too quick for me. I, I kind of feel like I need to wear goggles for this. I don't know if I should get my goggles. I don't want it to like explode in my face or anything. Let me plug this in. <sighs> Why do I do this to myself? I really did not have to do this video. Nobody forced me to do it. Right, this thing, should I touch it? I don't want to touch. Is hot. And this thing don't go any. I'm scared. This thing don't go any lower than this. I'm scared. To, I'm scared. Look at me chickening out. I'm scared to put this thing on my head. <laughs> Let me put a little bit of my heat protectant on. Oh no, I hope I don't go bald. Or grease on the section. Hopefully it don't it doesn't start smoking. That's one thing that'll probably make me just not want to record this at all. I mean at least I'm starting from the back. That way if my hair does fall out, then I can cover it for a couple years before anyone notices. Okay. I'm scared. Calm down. Woo! Let me look. Okay, I'm gonna look at my mirror. Maybe I should put you guys over here. I'm gonna put you guys over here. But the lighting's kind of like not cute. But my mirror, my mirror is right here. And this is me. So I'm gonna be looking at myself in the mirror as I do this. Just in case, you know, my hair starts falling off or whatever.
Y'all see the smoke? How do people do this for a living? Flat ironing hair for a living? Bro, it's still smoking. I don't wanna do this anymore. All right, all right. How many passes am I supposed to do? It's supposed to be one or two. I don't know. After this, I'm moving on to the next section. Why is my hair so hot? It burns! It burns! I feel like the lighting is all types of off, but I apologize. This is the best I can do. My bathroom is really not that big. All right, all right! I think I like it. I think I like it, even though it's not straight. Y'all probably gonna be clowning me in the comment section, like, why is this thing burning still? I see flames. I know there's gonna be a hairstylist in the comment section saying how I did this so wrong. And honestly, I apologize to all the hairstylists that I am disappointing right now. I really don't even feel like I need to blow dry my hair, really, because it's pretty much blow dried. And we don't want to add more heat to the fire. Or more wood, coal, I don't know what the analogy is. I don't think I did this right. Because this part is starting to shrink. Is straight hair supposed to shrink? I don't think so. I don't know how people do this for fun. All right, so this is how the side is looking. Um, it doesn't look bad. It looks like a very nice blowout. Doesn't look like I straightened my hair. Um, am I upset? No, not really. Alright guys, so um, I went ahead off camera and did 
the whole back side of my head. It took me about an hour, hour and a half. Don't really remember. Ew. Okay, so it's actually coming out pretty nicely. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I moved up the temperature to 300 degrees and I've been putting these clips at the ends of my hair just to because I don't I don't really like that straight look. I'm not going to lie. My hair is not coming out super duper straight, which I don't really have a problem with. I appreciate that. I don't think I look good with bone straight hair, if I'm being honest. I feel like I look like a mole rat, like I said earlier. But it's coming out with a little bit of volume. I'm just going to show you guys up close how I got to this point. So this section is pretty much fully finger detangled. All right, don't mind all the pimples on my face. I am ugly right now. But this is what I've been doing. It's been working out pretty well for me. So I'm just gonna time lapse this. So I finished this last section and this is how it's looking. So it's looking pretty straight. It feels a little bit heavy though, I'm not even gonna lie. But who do we blame? I blame 
my hair moisturizers. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Ooh, my lights. Cameras, action. I don't really know how I feel about it, honestly. I've never had my hair this straight before. I don't think I like it. I, I don't know. I don't think it suits my face, if I'm being honest. I'm probably just gonna put my hair back in um, my big braids and this was a fun experiment, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> I do not like it. How do people... Child. How do people wear their hair like this? This looks like a very nice blowout. Does it look like I straightened my hair? No. Do I care to have my hair look bone straight? Absolutely not. Um, it doesn't look terrible. I don't hate it. Now, would I do this to my hair and go out? No. All right. If you're wondering or care to know the amount of hair that came out of my head today from detangling and uh, all that, I'm gonna collect it for you. Anyways, this is how much hair I lost the first round of detangling my hair because I detangled my hair multiple times. And this is how much hair I lost the second time. This is how much hair I lost all together. Is this a lot to you guys? I don't know. Let me scrunch it up into a tiny ball to make myself feel better. All right. So about this much hair all together. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. This is how my hair turned out after blowing it out for the very first time ever in my life. Will I do this again? Probably not. I don't know, I mean, now I have a flat iron, so it's only right that I use it, but I'm not sure if I'll be doing this anytime soon. It wasn't that time consuming, if I'm being honest. It didn't really take me that long. It took me about two hours to flat iron my hair. So um, that's better than most of the styles that I usually do for my hair. Well, except for my big braids, those you take me. Those usually take me about 30 minutes. Um, I don't hate my first attempt. I don't hate how it turned out. Did it, I mean, does it look like how the salon Silas chicks be having people's hair look? No. No, it doesn't. But is it still cute? I mean, to me, yes. I think it look, I think it still looks nice. I mean, it's bigger than most flat iron styles, but I don't hate it. I think I'm trying to convince myself that this doesn't look bad. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's my very first time flat ironing my hair. And if you liked it, definitely let me know down below. Or if you have any other comments, questions, or concerns regarding anything that I said throughout this video, definitely comment that down below. Also, and I'll be happy to answer. Um, I didn't really use, well, I don't know. If you're interested in the flat iron that I got, I had a pretty good experience with it. I realized while I was flat ironing my hair though, um, that it turns out by itself if I'm not using it for a long time. So like after 20 minutes, if I'm not using it, it just turns out by itself. Is that how all flat irons are? I don't know. I've never had one before, but I thought that was cool. Um, you know, this is, this is the Palmer's Olive Oil Growth Therapy or whatever is the only thing that I actually use on my hair. Like on the dry parts of my hair, I coated it with this. Apparently the Olive Oil Growth Therapy helps with heat styles or prevents heat damage or something as it says on the little card like I showed you guys earlier so yeah those are the only two things that I use and if you guys are interested in anything that I use today I'll be leaving them down in the description box I don't think I have anything else to say I don't think you guys really care to see me braid my hair back because that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna let my hair sit like this I refuse and go bald-headed no no, we're not going bald-headed for a forest style, okay? Not Staronda, not Natural Academia, not never. But this was a good experience. I think it's good that I tried different things. Next video, I'm gonna be attempting to, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing next video, honestly. I don't know, once again, I really appreciate you guys for clicking on this video and watching and I'll see you guys next time.